This is Hope and Health with Doctors Michelle and Mark Sherwood. Insights and interviews with a dose of straight talk to help you enjoy optimal health in all areas of life. And it gives me distinct uh, honor today to present a new friend, I guess, the podcast. And I'm going to give you his little bio here. He's a humble guy. So if I read the whole bio, he might uh, jump to the computer and get me, perhaps. Um, Lofa Tatupu is a former NFL star for the um, Seattle Seahawks. He was uh, drafted uh, by them as a 45th overall pick in the 2005 NFL draft. Um, big time, he was one of the best uh, defensive players in the league. Um, he was named to three Pro Bowls. Uh, he was part of the NFC champion Seahawks, led them in tackles one year. Um Little fun fact about him on a Monday night football game, he was able to uh, uh, pick off three passes in one game, uh, return them for a total of 100 yards, and the poor quarterback for the Eagles will leave his name out at this point, had to be demoralized. So um, since then, since his playing career was over, um, Lofa is, has, has coached in the league, and he's also now established a unique a company that focuses on CBD, and we're going to get into that with him today. Lofa, welcome. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you for the intro. Man, it's going to be cool. So uh, dive in, man. You know, since you're playing days, I mean, I think we all understand that uh, football is a, is a violent sport and concussions are part of the everyday life. Um, how did that affect you? Um, concussions in particular? I, I So in my career, I had – which spanned six years, I had 10 surgeries and 15 plus concussions and the 15 plus that's only the ones they document, right? You know, the, when you, when you slightly hit your head and you get dazed or you get those, those cobwebs, those are mild concussions and those usually go unreported. And, and that happens quite frequently, you know, uh, every year. And so, um, yeah, I count the bad ones as the ones that, that, you know, where, where you had to get help or escorted off the field. And I can mm. laugh now because I feel like I've, you know, returned to um, not even just returned to my best health, but I've exceeded that, which is pretty incredible because I'm going, I just turned 38. And, um, and as you listed, you know, I'm going to Pro Bowls, everybody would imagine that was my best health. But, um, it, it, you know, from the concussions, the actual, the worst part of it, which were worse than the surgeries was the coming back from them and, you know, uh, the cognitive deficits that you go through, um, short-term memory loss, um, you know, literally 30 years old walking into a room and say, oh, I came here for a reason and I can't remember why I walked into this room. And the frustration that builds with that starts to promote some self-doubt, you know, because you start questioning yourself literally. And um, so that um, attention span, um, you know, so yeah, yeah, lack of focus, there were all these things that, uh, from a cognitive standpoint, were just, you know, going downhill. And that, that shouldn't have been, you know, at, at such a young age, 28, 30 years old. Well, I asked that question. You know, I want to you, you come up with um, what we've talked about prior to, uh, you know, this conversation, uh, a solution, a correction. And this is personal. You were talking to me just a moment ago about your father. He had the some type of the same things. Tell me about Tell us about him. Yeah, well, um, he passed away. Like I'm second generation. Um, I followed mostly the Tupu. He played in the NFL for 14 years, and um, you know what kind of scared me was he didn't he didn't even have any reported concussions, right? They called it getting your bell rung back then, and um, so uh, when when he passed away 10 years ago, um, uh, posthumously after death, uh, his brain was donated to science, and we found out that uh, he had CTE and early onset Parkinson's. Um, is what the scans and the, um, it, you know, told us. And so, you know, that had me kind of starting to, you know, zone in, so to speak, on my own health and where I was mentally, physically and emotionally, um, you know, just because that's a lot of trauma to go through mm -hmm. um, with all those those surgeries and those concussions. And um, so with that, I just, you know, was trying was taking all the supplements you could that they, you know, the fish oils, the, you know, um, as we we're taking the omega-3s, mm -hmm. all these different uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, um, all of them to try to, because I was reading how they were going to help, you know, hold off the, the symptoms of, you know, what the damage I've probably really done to my brain. And uh, 
not much, you know, did anything, if anything. And, um, and then I kept hearing more and more about CBD. And it was just all these stories um, from the inflammation standpoint, cognitive, neuroprotected, um, everything that I was just like, this it's too good to be true, right? You know, you hear something, oh, it's, you know, it's too good to be true, it probably is. Well, I started on my journey, and this was four years ago, 2016-ish. And um, just as I got done with coaching and uh, I just started researching, reading any article, any book I could about CBD, what it was, what it wasn't, and uh, just getting educated on it and, and what it could do for me. And I couldn't believe when I actually found a quality source. So there's several forms of CBD. The CBD isolate was the, the crystalline uh, powder form of it, just that single molecule pulled from the plant. Um, then there's broad spectrum, which has more um, phytocannabinoids, plant compounds. And then there's full spectrum, which it does have a little bit of the THC, but federally legal 0.3% or less. And, um, you know, that's important, even those trace amounts, because while it's not, it's not going to do anything to you psychoactively, it's not going to get you high or anything, which is always someone's concern. But that molecule actually does help to bind to our CB1 receptors in our brain. And uh, so, you know, that's CBD actually has very low affinity to bind to our CB1 receptors while it does have benefits to our CB2, you know, the mind and body connection. CB1 in the, in the, mainly in the brain, CB2 all throughout the body. Um, and so, you know, as, yeah, as you can tell, I've been reading a lot about it. Because yeah. When something changes your life, you know, you, you want to know, you know, like, what is this stuff? And um, so uh, when I came across that one was eye opening. And like I said, it didn't return me to my best health, it made me discover what should have been my best self and my best health. Like I, I think about even as you rattle off, you know, those pro bowls and stuff, I think about what could have been, of course, right? You think, yeah, Man, how much I could if I stayed healthy, that was really what derailed the career, you know, how much better could I get? Could I have made a couple more Pro Bowls? Could we have potentially looked at Hall of Fame? I don't know. It's, you know, but that's what I'm excited about getting this message out because there's there's guys that are, you know, hanging on their last few years. And, you know, and I that's our that's our childhood dream, you know, yep. playing ball. And so you don't want it to end, but when you do, you want to go out on your terms, right? And so that's what I'm excited about. And uh when and every chance I get is, you know. Uh, preaching the message about what it's done for me. For uh, if, if we want to talk about the actual facts, uh, I'll try to paint a picture. Having trouble getting out of bed, you know, mm -hmm. because my sleep, as we all know, how important that is to the recovery process, was terrible. I have sleep apnea, and I have the CPAP machine, and I, I went through all the necessary protocols when I, you know, was getting diagnosed for that. And that machine helped a little, but nothing compared to the rest that I get with quality CBD. Mm -hmm. So trouble getting out of bed because my joints were inflamed, um, you know, could, had to dangle my feet off to the edge of the bed, you know, like, like I was much older than 38 and just sit there for a second, let the blood rush to him. So I didn't fall walk into the bathroom. And, uh, you know, so again, yeah, with all the knee surgeries and torn ligaments and ankle, like there's just some, some serious trauma there that, you know, I had to deal with and that's what it's helped me really do. And, um, but I'm, I'll never be more grateful than what it's done for my mind, because as we all know, it starts with your mind, you know, and your perspective. And um, it's given me the right perspective in life and uh, just grateful uh, for, for everything, you know, even even when it hurts, you know, the body, you know, they still got some old, you know, uh, scars. But, you know, it's like, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm grateful to to feel that pain. Cause, cause you know, some people don't get to experience that. Right. And so um, it's uh, it's incredible what it's done for me. And after a year of just losing 50 pounds, uh, getting back in playing shape, I, being faster, stronger, and more explosive than I was at 25 going to the pro bowl. I, you know, I, I couldn't dunk a basketball back then. I can dunk a basketball now at 38. Wow. Wow. And it's, it's because I know myself better on a cellular level because it responds and acts on our cells, um, our cell yeah. receptors. And so, um, you know, it, it's just wild what it did. And so when 
I went through that transformation. You know, you have some people asking you like, yo, what is it? And I just started buying quality CBD and handing it out for three years until the farm bill, two, two and a half years until the farm bill became legal uh, in 2008, the hemp bill. And then that's when I, I said, Hey, we have a chance to really share this with, you know, the country, you know, you know, for now until they open up yep. rules for international or whatever. But, and you know, that you got to pay it forward. When something changes your life like that, you got to pay it forward and, and, you know, let people know about it. Well, I think, you know, you mentioned too, uh, a few weeks ago before we were, we were talking, you know, and I remember you, you were telling me in the midst of this struggle you were having just before you, you found something that really helped you and restored you to beyond what you ever thought you could become, right? Uh, you Did you sink into a depression, a low? Were you just like at the bottom at that point? Yeah, for sure. And um, I've always been, I'm not ashamed to, to tell that story. Right. I've always been careful because, you know, with the FDA, you don't want them like, oh, you can't make that claim. But mm -hmm. it's fine for people to talk about anxiety, which is a disease, you know? And so like with that, yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I battled both, you know, um, with, with all the, the, the trauma I've been through uh, in the NFL. And I mean, that, that was the first thing I, I recognized was my mood started to stabilize. Mm -hmm. And um, cause from the concussions, it was very erratic in terms of like, you know, your, your mindset. And that's why I'm, you know, talking about perspective. Right. And it's, it's, you know, very easy to go back into the self doubt, but yeah, it was, you know, it was tough, man. Um, and so, you know, whether it was anxiety, depression, all of that, it started to fade away, you know, back to where like I was young and, and I didn't, not that I didn't have any cares, but I didn't have any worries. It's, you know, like I got this. And I mean, I think that's the most powerful thing is, when you hear that voice come back that says, yo, man, we got this. Like, yeah. You know, rather than the one like, yo, I don't know, man, maybe, maybe we shouldn't, maybe we can't. And and that's just the power of the, the, the perspective and the mindset shift to, to, to being positive and knowing uh, it's going to be all right. Like just give it your best shot. And that's what I always did in life is I'm going to do my, you know, I'm going to do my best and it's going to be enough. And um and, you know, leaving ball, when you fall into that, you know, rhythm or way of thinking, it's just, it's tough, man. I mean, first of all, you lost, you lost football. That's like losing a loved one. And, you know, I know that sounds really, that sounds really bad of me to say that because I don't want to liken a game to someone you love, but I'm saying for a lot of us, it's all we had, yeah. you know, growing up and it's all we knew really in terms of, you know, our dream. And so you're talking about saying goodbye to something that you're never going to see again. You see it on the TV, you know, but you don't, you can't just go. That's why football is such a great game. You can't just organize a game and go down to the park and play football. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's just, it's not going to work out, but um, you know, so that on top of everything I was experiencing and I'm talking the, 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 the tough part was, the stuff that that's going on here, like even we were talking about the, the I had some fluid in my macula was uh, was what it was, but I, it was from a hit back in 2007. So my best year, um, when I went to the All Pro, uh, Pro Bowl and All Pro, I had this dark spot out of my right eye, and I didn't tell anybody because I was scared shitless they were going to tell me, "Yo, you can't play ball anymore." And I mean, so. You know, I was, I'm not about to let them do that to me because I, I already saw what was happening. Right. And um, so I waited until it got really bad. 2012, 13, when I, when I left the game and I went and got, saw a doctor and um, you know, I explained a lot of the symptoms that, that we're talking about, but then I was like, yo, there's this black dot. It's like looking at a light and then focus, trying to focus on something and you just can't see anything but a black dot. And uh and he's like, yeah, I think you got fluid in your macula. And, and he had no answers for how I got it. He said, oh, it's just probably stress. And I, I remember the hit that happened. I, I remember when I woke up, like, just like, whoa, man, that, and my vision on my right eye was very cloudy. And, you know, I got floaters in both eyes, but I couldn't see out of the right eye. And mm -hmm. I mean, you can imagine, you know, that 20, 25, 26, that going on. And so, um, you know, dealing with all that, 
post ball too. So it's, yeah, it's, it was a tough, you know, uphill climb. And uh, I don't know, the last four years have been the greatest years of my life. Mm. Um, That's like powerful to hear because, you know, a lot of people, and, and I appreciate so much and I hope everybody heard that, you know, there's, you know, people, athletes, all of us can be married to something, to someone. And then when that something or someone is gone, your heart gets ripped out and it affects everything you are and everything you can be. And then we can all, all of us can sink into any sort of funk or depression. That word shouldn't be a dirty word. It shouldn't be a four letter word. It should be something we embrace and understand as, as, as a place you don't want to reside in and live in. And you, you mentioned that you started using, um, you know, CBD and just for our listeners, it, it's, it's, it is going to hit on the endocannabinoid system and as Lofa said, the CB1 receptor is a is a affinity for the brain, the CB2 or the brain and the periphery. So it's important to understand the entourage effect of both of those. And I want you to repeat that again, Lofa, about what to continually stay away from and what to gravitate to. I think people get that. But at the same time, the greatest four years of your life, what has changed, man? Where are you right now compared to where you were? Man, I, I am better in every phase of my life. Um, physical, which, you know, everybody's like, man, 38, you know, what are you on? And I was like, I'm on CBD. And I didn't know this could do this for me. And it just because, like I said, the connection between the mind and body is so strong now that even in lifts that I was doing before, whether it was a pull down, I can feel the scap retracting and pulling through the lats as opposed to like shrugging up and just trying to get through it. I can mm-hmm. feel the connection and it's a powerful one. And it's one that your body and mind really enjoy. And that's why when people really get into taking care of themselves and lifting weights, oh man, it's, 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 a, it's a great feel. It's like a runner's high, right? It's just mm-hmm. like, man, you can't explain. I just feel great. And it's, doing great things for me throughout my day. But um, um, family life, man, not merely just existing and going through the motions and like sitting out in a chair watching my kids play, but playing with them. Like mm-hmm. being zoning in and being in the moment is what it's all about. And, um, you know, they're nine and six. And mm-hmm. this last year, while it's been extremely tough, I know for a lot of people out there, um, it's, one I'm grateful for. They gave me a full year with my kids that I haven't had in a long time because they've been six or seven hours at school. Well, now I'm, I'm one of the one of the home teachers. I'm a homeschooler homeschooling. <laughs> so, and it's fun watching them learn and grow. And, um, you know, even in spending time with both of two kids, two boys, nine and six, same parents, same rules, same everything, total opposites. And, the, the, the cool thing about that is my youngest is just like me. So, you know, he loves sports and everything. My oldest, I'm learning things through him and from him that I, I never would have imagined. Music, um, he's big into gaming and coding. And it's, it's being mindful and being open-minded about new experiences, which we're all creatures of habit. And a lot of us don't like to get out of our comfort zone. What this has done for me from, like I said, physical, mental, family, business, um, and just it's been incredible. Nothing short of incredible, a full life transformation. Um, always been grateful for everything I had. That's how I was raised. But like to truly enjoy each moment um, and, and think and feel more objectively rather than subjected to emotions and you know just any news that's told you like to really just take it in okay yeah it's terrible news or it's great news Mm -hmm. but stay in the zone and not let it affect you because you know just like any performance right you know you have a good play you got to forget it you have a bad play you got to forget it and um you know that's um kind of just trying to draw a similarity between games and and you know how it's it's like life you know it parallels life but uh everybody looks at the weight loss as you know, from 280 down to 235, they're like, man, you look great. It ain't shit compared to how I feel, Doc. I, and I'm sorry to swear, but like, it's like, I just want people to really understand, like you said, uh, a guy that went to the NFL, won, won national championships in college, went to the NFL, made some Pro Bowls, 
you would think his best life or his best years were there, right? Last four years, and every year just keeps getting better. And um, fascinating great. how you talk about that, and, and I just want people to know to to to, to really affirm what you just said. You know, th- we're we're not making claims about this curing, treating, or preventing disease processes. We're talking about using naturally produced phytocannabinoids that that hit receptors that do what our body already is doing, but it gets inefficient in its in its production as we age and as trauma and injury hits. So all you're doing is kind of putting in there from a plant what is in us already. Would that be accurate? I'd be completely accurate. And to further that, just um you know, we we further expose ourselves to disease and trauma and by the stuff we consume. And when I say consume, I'm not just talking eating and drinking, but that my eating and drinking habits have changed because I can feel how food affects me, my mood, my, you know, my energy level. Uh, and I, I try to tell people when they start taking the CV, I say, yo, just eat a greasy burger or, you know, fried chicken, even though I love those things. And then tell me how you feel. The chances are you're probably just going to go lay down because your body's going to be like, what did you just do to us? But so when you do that, and if you keep that into becoming a habit, now your cells, they're slowly, I mean, not going to die, but they're going to stop responding as they should. And yep. um, I've had a heightened awareness with, I don't know if it's like you're, you're, I just on a cellular level, I, I'll, I'll, you know, tell a story. I was playing basketball over the summer, playing basketball every day and running sprints, like working out hard, you know, sometimes twice a day, like, like when I was 25 and um, I ran sprints, I was running hill sprints and I felt like my hammy twinge. Now that used to just tear back in the day. But when I took that one stride, I, it's like it triggered from my hamstring straight to my brain, like, yo, stop. And I was able to slow down. Um, I didn't, you know, I played basketball the next three days, full go. Um, yeah, I probably couldn't have ran sprints anymore, but I was going all out on the court, but that's short area burst, more quad dominant, you know. But I just started lifting my knee up. Like, my body started correcting the form to – save me and let me play. And that's what like the great athletes do. Um, They find a way to get through games because they can, you know, pivot or or adjust on a fly. And, and I just, I'll never forget that, that moment where it just shot up to my brain. I was just like, of course I was in a little panic mode because now I'm 38, 37 at the time. And uh, I was like, Oh God, I don't need to tear my hamstring right now. It's the last thing I need to do. And um, it was like, no, nah, we're just telling, like my hamstring is literally talking to me like, no, nah, we're just telling you like, slow it down, you know, no more sprints today. And I was, I was recovered and back playing. Of course, I stretched the quad and the hip flexor, everything on the opposite side to get back on the court the next day. But um, it was incredible, the response time, which how many catastrophic injuries would we avoid if we, if they were using this? If I was using this back in the day, I wouldn't have torn both pecs, Doc. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, it would have it like grabbed. And I would have let go. I would have known like, oh, okay, we're not good there. Yeah. But back in the day, I just, I went and I, I went right through, ripped right through, uh, right off the arm. Well, I think it's fascinating because a lot of times we, when you look at this, and I hope all the listeners are catching this, this is not just for athletes. This is for everybody. Um, we all are going to have struggles. And when you can't move, when you don't feel good, uh, the death process is hastened and the sick span in life is increased. And um, neither of us want that. We want quality of life for as long as possible and sort of to live for those of you that can see this podcast, like, a you know, you come up, you live and then you die. The death process is short. It's not this. Yeah, uh, I don't want to be there. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is kind of sucks, I think, really. But um but yeah, so tell us about your your company. You got into this. It's called Zone In, and tell us about that. Yeah, so I mean, it actually it spawned from another um, you know story, if you will. Um, and this is this is the logo and everything, and I'll explain that in a second. But um, so Zone In is a play off of uh, the term uh, in positive psychology, known as flow state, it is also known as being in the zone. 
anybody that's ever, any athlete, you know, you, you hear about their best performance all oh, they were in the zone. They were just in the zone, right? And so my first experience with, you know, a quality, you know, full spectrum oil um, was in 2016, 17. And I went, okay, so this is something that listeners need to know because everybody thinks it's just for sleep and it's not. So mm -hmm. in high doses, when you get north of 50, 60, 70 milligrams, it can have a sedative effect. So it will get you good quality sleep. However, in low doses, 5, 10, 15, you know, everybody's different. Some can go as high as 30 milligrams. It gives you mental clarity and focus, which is why we call it zone in. And I mean, zone in on whatever you want to do. You know, you're going to be in the zone for whatever you want to do, fully immersed in the moment. Uh, I made the mistake of taking 25 milligrams at like with just before or after dinner. And, you know, I had been through a ton of products, like three months worth of products and journaling and like, nah, this didn't do anything for me. No, nope, you know, isolate. Nope. It, you know, you know, limited benefits, broad spectrum. Yeah, solid. Eye opening when I got the full spectrum, you mm -hmm. know, because of what we talked about with our CD1 receptors and the uptake. And so I took it, you know, probably too late in the night and I went to bed and I'm in bed and I'm just like eyes wide open. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, I, how do I, I gotta, like, I'm full of life and full of energy right now. Why? And I haven't had that in a long time. I was like, what is going on? And I go, I'm going to the gym. And like, it was like nine o'clock at night. And my wife's like, you're crazy. Like, you know, you haven't worked out in like seven years. I go, I don't know why. Something's telling me to go to the gym right now. So I got up, went down to 24 hour fitness, put on my playlist and nobody's in there. Just the guy at the desk. And then, you know, I had the whole basketball court to myself and I am jamming out. I'm shooting and I'm making, and I'm like, whoa, like what is going on? Like I just, and hadn't picked up a basketball in probably like seven years too. And, um, I'm just going, going, going. And then my music stops two hours later and I'm drenched in sweat. This is when I was 275 pounds, drenched in sweat. And, but I can't stop smiling. And I walk out and the guy's like, yo man, are you good? I was like, I've never felt better in my life. And he said, I've never seen anybody shoot hoops for two hours by themselves. And he's like, and you were going hard. And I go, I was in the zone, man. And so that the name and the idea for it was born four years ago when I found it and I just started handing it out, you know, to, to all, you know, my friends and family. And because when, when you not just come back to life, I'd say for me, it was a reawakening when you come back to life, almost a rebirth, um, you know, that's special, you know, it's, it's pretty special, but when you see somebody else, live their best life or live a life they never knew was possible. That's what it's all about. And so that's why we started the company. And um, I mean, the stories that hit my, my inbox and my texts and my emails, it's, it's what keeps me going because I know we're making an impact and we're changing lives for the better and, um, and, and helping people, you know, be healthy. Well, what's your website? How, how do people uh, connect with you on that? Yeah, zoneincbd.com. Um, and you can find out more about us there. Um, you know, it's uh, we're, we're up in the Northwest. We're based out of uh, Seattle. Um, and uh, we're, we're in a lot of uh, stores out here. But if you're, uh, I understand, where, Doc, where are you at right now? Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah. So the e-commerce website would be the best to find out. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, um, I... If you have, and this is where, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, well, that was weird of him to say. <laughs> if you have a CBD you love and trust, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, I'm not asking, I'm not here asking for your business, um, for all the listeners. I just want you to make sure you're taking a quality product, meaning certificate analysis are on the, um, on, should be on the, the there's a, a QR code, but there's also a, a product number under each product that we have. And you can type that in on our website and it'll pull up the lot. And it's to ensure that all the CBD is actually in there because there was a consumer report just that last year. 70% of, uh, you know, products out there don't even have the correct amount. Some have no CBD and mm -hmm. some have, 
you know, the wrong amount that's on their label. Well, it's not just knowing that the CBD is in there. It's also knowing what's not in there, including pesticides, residual solvents, and heavy metals. And so, um, you know, that's, that's all I ask that you do in taking a quality product is knowing that, um, you know, there's a certificate of analysis, you know, somewhere on their site or somewhere you could go to find out, you know, what's in there and what isn't more importantly in there. Well, I appreciate that because uh, as we've talked and gotten to know each other, you know, that's one of my pet peeves and that was one of my draws to what you're doing. And I highly and heavily support and recommend uh, Zone in CBD. I want you to know that uh, to all our listeners and, um, and, and Lofi, I appreciate you guys putting that uh, certificate of analysis there. I looked at them and they were there. And from being in this business for a long time, you know, for pretty much the last five years, really, in a sense, that is not a common occurrence. And there are isolates out there. There are broad spectrums out there. They just simply do not work as well. You got to get full spectrum with a little THC in there. And people are wondering, will you test positive for THC in the urine? All I can say is that I have used it a lot and tested myself multiple times, and I've never got a trace of THC that showed up in any typical standard urine test. So, you know, that will that's a definitive there. And I, I um, will tell you, um, this is last night prior to our taping. I used the Zone in CBD gels to, uh, and I've been using them since you sent us a little sample amount. And uh, my deep sleep has improved according to my little aura ring right here. So yes. I will tell you, I measure sleep incessantly with my aura and my Garmin. And both my wife and I have seen our deep sleep improve. So, you know, I, I totally concur with what you're saying. And I appreciate you um, uh, saying this. Oh, there's, there's people out there right now, Lofa, as we bring this to the close, that they are like at their wit's end. They are in a place where, uh, you know, injuries, d- d- you know, disastrous occurrences, disappointments have, have hit them. Is it worth them to try CBD? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, I don't say that just as, as, a, as, I say that as a, a person that cares about people because I know what I went through, um, you know, mind, body, and soul. and um, you know, it's, yeah, even when we go, let's take it back to the the depression talk. You know, I had meds prescribed for me just in case it got that bad. And I luckily found this and I've had stories of people and, and I'm always careful to talk about this because I don't want people just getting off their, you know, their meds cold Turkey. And, you know, I will never, you'll never hear me say, just stop taking that and take this. There's like, there's a process that you have to go through by with guidance of your doctor to maybe slowly wean off of them while, you know, supplementing with CBD. But, um, you know, that is for your healthcare professional. But in terms of just everyday stress levels um, and, and just, you know, because how we all respond to cortisol, you know, the, the stress hormone that it's, it's different. And, you know, for some, it could send them into the tank and, you know, kind of get the feelings of depression or, and others, it sends them into a frenzy known as anxiety. And so um, it's um, that's how we battle back from them is just, we regulate. And then that's what the, the, uh, the endocannabinoid system does. It regulates all the functions like mood, appetite, um, and uh, you know, gut health inflammation, and it helps bring you to balance, which is why we even, we named our, our oils balance. I don't know if you noticed that on the, uh, on the box, because it, it promotes a, um, it brings you to homeostasis, which is balanced within the cell. And um, so, you know, we're trying to educate through, through all the noise that's out there and turn, and, you know, and, and the misinformation that's out there. Um, but yeah, I, you know, like I said, as a person that cares about people, I, I don't care who you pick because you know, it's free country. You pick whoever you want to pick in terms of a CVD product. Um, but make sure it's quality. And I, I, I if it's quality, you are going to feel benefits. And um, and I'm glad you told me about the sleep ring. I have to get that checked out because I notice, you know, without even tracking my sleep, I notice the vast difference in terms of my productivity, energy level, and overall happiness and mood when I get great sleep, when I get uninterrupted or even just that good REM sleep like you're talking about, my day is infinitely better. And so it, it can definitely help with that. And it, and it can help with, um, you know, a lot of other things, as we said, um, 
you know, due to stress and, and trauma that, that we've all been through. And I will uh, affirm once again, probably for the last uh, five years, the majority of, of days in my life, I have used full spectrum CBD pretty much every day. Uh, so I, I Lofi, I appreciate you so much um, can you know, I, coming can on. Think, yeah, man. Yeah, no, one more thing about that, because a yeah. lot, of, it can take anywhere. Everybody's different. You could have the oh my God experience like I did within like a couple of days, a day or two. Um, even that first time you find, you find a new, a real one. Um, but some people don't, right. It's, it's hard to notice uh, really like, unless you're tracking things like you or someone that, you know, is connected to the mind body, um, you know, experience. Um, I've had a lot of people try any, it can take anywhere up from a week to three weeks to get fully in your system and actually, you know, cleanse your system of what, what you've done to it. So, um, you know, that's what I will, you know, caution people or tell them. It's not it's not an aspirin. It's not a Tylenol. It's not like you take two and you're like, oh, OK. Yeah. You know, the information's, you know, gone. It's, you know, you have to get it in your system once, twice a day. But eventually you will start to know yourself better than you ever had. And you'll know when you need it. And it'll just it'll call to you saying like, hey, um, you know, this it's, it's time you know, whether you hit a lull in your day or, and uh, yeah, so we got, Doc, we got a new product coming out. I'm super excited about. Yeah, it's, tell me about that. It's an energy mix. Now, we were talking about on the phone and, um, you know, it just, it puts you into the zone, man. I'm talking like I was out there, we're calling it an energy mix. It really could qualify as a pre-workout, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, pre-workout, it, when you go to market something like that, if if, you know, people don't feel like, they're going out of their mind. They're like, oh, I was trash. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. All the energy drinks, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, this one is just like no jitters, no crash, just in the zone. And so we're just going to call it an energy uh, boost. Um, it, it's I'll send you the ingredient list and everything. I'm really excited. We're in the final stages of, of finishing the, the package design and everything. And uh, it's something – you know, we're trying to, as we bring new products to market, we're trying to just, you know, uh, not disrupt an industry, but disrupt the industries that are disrupting lives, like yes. sugar energy drinks, you know, yep. and, and you know, stuff that's just not good for you. Um, you know, because my kids, they're big on video games, and I just don't want them sitting there with all that sugar packed in a can. And <laughs> Because, you know, just our response, you know, you know, bad, you know how bad sugar is for you. And yeah. I mean, you know, to each his own, everybody do whatever they want. But I'm just saying, I didn't realize specifically how sugar or dairy affected me and my mood and my, mm. you know. And so, and I've only been brought aware of it through, you know, CBD and, and my body telling me. It just speaks to you like, hey, we are not good. I don't know. I had a pizza. This was like. Like I was talking about the fried chicken and the hamburger and all that greasy food. Had a pizza and I love pizza. And I remember I was just like, oh my God, like what just happened? And then <laughs> a, day, a day later, we were sitting in the movie theater and um and my kid had a bunch of sour patch kids. And I love sour patch kids, my favorite candy of all time. I reached for a handful and I ate them and I felt nauseous and I had never felt like that before. And I was like, well, the only thing I've eaten was Sour Patch Kid. I was like, wow. And I didn't realize how, how you know, um, disruptive those, those those things can be. And so that's what, you know, I'm just, I get excited when people, they start hitting me with text messages and stuff like, oh my God, like having breakthroughs like that, just knowing yeah. themselves better because it's going to lead to a happier life. And that's, you know, life is short and, you know, our purpose here is just to do as much good as we can before we, you know, well, all the time that we're blessed to be here. And so um, that's why uh, I'm incredibly blessed to be doing what I do. Man, well said. Um, man, kudos to you. Thank you for what you're doing for so many. Um, I consider it an honor to know you and to introduce you to our audience. And we'll make sure to post all the links below. And um, I'm looking forward to trying the new energy product as well. Um, Lofa, thank you, man. Really appreciate you doing this. Doc, I appreciate you. To all your listeners, I appreciate your time. Um, you know, time, time is valuable, and I appreciate you guys listening to us. Stay blessed. Well, there you go, friends. Uh, Lofa Tatupu, Zone in CBD, 
Com. Get on there and check it out. Those of you who can see him, look at the logo. Um, passion, um, purpose, and mission. That's what I heard. Passion, purpose, and mission. And I also heard a powerful word called compassion. We had to be able to relate to people. We need our best health. You heard Lofa talk about that. You hear us talk about that all the time. So don't let the things that are still in your best health take it away from you. Get it back. Take ownership. And one thing I ask you to do all these podcasts is to subscribe, find out what's coming next, who's coming next. You can see other great guests like Lofa and what they have to say, and we introduce you to them. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next edition of Healthcare's Missing Link. We'll see you next time. Doctors Mark and Michelle Sherwood and their clinic can help you find the hope and health you were created to enjoy. Go to Sherwood.tv for clear, proven ways you can be healthier. Subscribe at Sherwood.tv.